Merry Christmas everyone. Welcome to this very special gift guide edition um, where I'm going to be going through a few of my favourite things that I think people should definitely be getting the beauty lover in their life for Christmas. So first off, everybody's aware of my um, love slash obsession, if you want to call it that, which I probably would because I've spent so much money with them. Um, my obsession with Charlotte Tilbury. Now this year they have a beautiful cosmic theme for all of their Christmas goodies. Um, and I was lucky enough to get my hands on a couple of them. So the first thing we're looking at is their luxury palette of pops. Now this is the pretty packaging as you can see. Ooh, shiny. In a quad you'll normally get like three neutrals and then a really bold glittery one just to set everything off. Well, this particular palette has put all of the bold glittery shades in one. So if we have a look, beautiful packaging with my smudgy fingerprints. And as we open it up, so much pretty. Super glittery shiny, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm a little bit obsessed. These powders are super highly pigmented and they're very soft and finely milled. So you'll find that there's very little fallout for maximum effect. And that's one of the reasons why I love Charlotte Tilbury as well. Because even though her eyeshadows are super eye-wateringly expensive for the average beauty lover, they're so good that I think they're worth every single penny. We're on to the next Charlotte Tilbury product this Christmas, which I absolutely adore because it's almost a little clutch and brushes in one. So here we have it right here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury beautiful mini travel brush case set. And inside, we have a gorgeous little brush set. Now I love these because they're synthetic and they're cruelty free, but they're so soft and they help blend and spread everything so evenly. They feel like they're real, even though they're not. So we've got a blush brush. We've got a crease brush and a blender brush. And we have a teeny tiny little lip brush right here as well. And I think that anyone who likes traveling, or if you have a beauty lover in your life that just likes having things in miniature, then this is quite perfect. It's so now onto my next gift, am I gonna talk jade rollers? When I saw the one from Lux Estiva, I had to go for it. So the normal type of jade rollers that you'll see will have like a small bar at the top, a little ball at the bottom, and they're kind of, they're quite thin, they don't feel very sturdy. This one, however, is the king of facial rollers. Now, it has a very heavy jade stone up the top, which is great because when your face needs a bit of a jade roll, having the heavy heft behind it kind of makes it feel like it's doing more of its job. So what these are is they're used, they've been used for ancient Chinese medicine for ages, basically to roll on your face in a certain way, like to soothe and get rid of puffiness and to drain the lymphatic system as well. Absolutely. There are set ways in which you're meant to roll this along your face. And I have watched the tutorials, I promise, but I forget what they are now. But personally, I just like to sit there and do a bit of an upward roll underneath my eyes so that I don't look like I haven't slept in a week, which is kind of true. I haven't slept in a week. Does such a wonderful job of of de-puffing my eyes and clearing all this out to make me look like I'm half human -y. Now it's always good to use a bit of oil when you're using your jade roller so that you can make everything glide smoothly and plus the roller helps the oil really to infuse in the skin. One of the oils that I'm particularly obsessed with at the moment which goes perfectly with this jade roller is Lux Estiva's own wildflower oil. As you can see here, smells not that you can smell it, but I'm gonna smell it because I love it. Oh, it smells divine. It smells absolutely divine. The reason why this wildflower oil is so good is we're looking at evening primrose oil, hazelnut oil, lavender, frankincense, neroli, and turmeric, all of which aid in cellular, cellular, cellular renewal increase blood circulation and have powerful antioxidants and anti-inflammatory benefits. 
Um, I find it sinks in really beautifully. Uh, it smells divine and it's ideal to accompany that gorgeous jade roll. Next up, we are moving to a few of my favorite palettes. Now, number one on this list, just because it is so freaking ridiculous, but gorgeous, but ridiculous, is this pineapple so this is the Tarte pineapple of my eye palette it's completely impractical it's massive as you can see it is because it is such a cute pineapple like who doesn't love a pineapple it's friggin gorgeous magic so these are all new shades some shimmers some mattes some bright colors some more neutral and here we've got two blushes, a highlighter, and a contour. I don't know where I'm gonna fit it. I don't really care. Cause it's my cute little new baby. And it's a pineapple! Next up, because you know I love me some glitter and some sparkle, we've got the Bobbi Brown Highlighter Duo. Now, take a look at this packaging. Wait for it. Hey! The inside of this features two gorgeous highlighters now let me see if I can get this to focus for you because you don't want to miss out on this look at them look at those now this one is a limited edition so if you did want to get it for somebody Christmas is the ideal time to do it so the colors that we have are bear glow and opal glow adore them both now the next thing that I recommend putting in your Christmas stocking is from Benefit. It's the next of the palettes that we're going to look at and it is their new Vanity Flare Nudes Palette. There we go, Vanity Flare Nudes Palette. Now, I have heard a little bit of criticism of this one, mostly because of the fact that people think it's a bit boring and beige. Of course it's beige! It's a nudes palette! One of the reasons why this is on my list is because when I want to go out and just do basic everyday eyeshadow, I want a selection of brownie, tawny, taupey, beigey hues that I can do a natural look with. So as you can see, they're all very neutral shades. Very, very neutral. These ones read a little bit more pink on camera than they are. They're actually quite brown. In terms of the most usable palette, this is one of the ones that I think I'll be reaching for every day. So now we're gonna go for a little bit of lippy. I do love me a bit of Eye of Horus. So these lipsticks are quite cute. They're their velvet matte range. And instead of twisting them up, they're like push button down the bottom. This one is a gorgeous little red that they have and I love the shape of the actual lippy because it enables you to get like right into the corner. So the shades that I currently have are this one which is Vamp Red, ooh la la, and this one here that is Enchantress Buff. So those are the two swatches for Enchantress Buff and Vamp Red. It's a really nice creamy formula but you do have to make sure that you don't press out too much of the, um, too much of the, like you're used to winding up the bullet lipsticks and having a massive bit of bullet there to, but you, with this you don't need to. You can only have the tiniest bit poking over the top because it is quite a crumbly formula if you push it too hard. But that's because it slides so smoothly onto your lips. So another lip product I wanna recommend, not a lipstick, it's a balm this time, is from Salt by Hendrix. Like you can sort of see it if I, all the ingredients to make your lips super super smooth but it's got a little tint of color in it as well and it smells divine and it's got this beautiful soft creamy texture that is absolutely gorgeous so the ingredients in this one are as follows shea butter coconut oil cocoa butter carnauba wax argan oil jojoba oil citrus race mosa grapefruit pink oil vanilla extract and vitamin E. So really good for your lips, but also great just to pop a little bit on your cheeks to get a bit of an extra glow as well. Like I find just popping a little bit gives me a little bit of extra pinky pink. Before I move on to a couple little um, accessories to go with it, I'm going to have a look at one of my favorite skincare packs going this Christmas, and that is the Ola Henriksen because I can't remember the words of things, is the Ola Henriksen Glow Brightly Set. And you get their famous Truth Serum. You get their Banana Bright Eye Cream, which 
after you'll have no sleep over Christmas because you're partying too hard, you're gonna need it. Uh, you've got a small thing of the Goodnight Retin Alt Sleeping Cream, which has retinol in it, which as everybody knows, everybody needs retinol today because anti-aging and because mostly anti-aging because goddamn, none of us want to look our real ages. No. Um, and then we've got their Sea Rush Brightening Cream, which has three sources of vitamin C in it. So what we know about these products is that they are excellent for skin brightening and for evening out of uneven skin tone, which because I have a buttload of scars from when I used to pick my face and a whole bunch of melasma damage, um, I really like this because it gives me the type of glow that I need. So if you know anybody who needs a glowing skin, I would highly recommend this particular gift pack. Here's something that I think you can all benefit from. This. Now, it doesn't look like anything right now, but it is from the Flat Lay Co in London, and basically what it is, is the makeup bag that will save your lives. Basically, big old giant circle. Like, why would you want a makeup bag that's a big old giant circle, you're saying? Well, let me tell you, when you are done with your makeup, you zip it closed with the drawstring, and you shut the little bag up. So you've got a bag that's a little cosmetic bag like this. Now, why is that handy? How many times have you had to go through your makeup bag and pour through it and pull everything out of it only to find the one thing that you wanted is right down the bottom? With this one, you don't have to. You just open it up, lie it down on the floor with all of your stuff sitting on it. And when you're finished, you just draw string it back up again. It's perfect. It means I don't have to tip out all my stuff and on my bed and, and risk all my makeup flex going all over my mattress. It means no mess. It means I can look at all of my beauty products at once. It's a goddamn lifesaver. I'm so in love with it. It's got little Velcro bits up the top here so that if you do wish to actually, you know, stick it together to make it look a little bit more uniform, it looks all pretty like perks. For lazy people, this is the Holy Grail makeup bag. This next product on my Christmas wish list is very exciting. So as you can see, I have a crap load of hair. Like it's prone to breakage, it's prone to frizzing, it's prone to being just generally unhealthy and none of that is helped by the friction that happens when you toss and turn a bed at night. Now I'm gonna show you photos first because it's not gonna look nearly as glamorous on me when I'm trying to do it on camera. So this, is the silk hair wrap is it's a wrap that you put around your hair made of silk overnight so that when you're tossing and turning and thrashing about all your hair is in this beautiful silk turban and all it's doing is rubbing against the silk which makes it softer which gets rid of frizz which makes it not prone to breakage it reduces the friction while you're sleeping and you wake up with hair that's so much easier to style in the morning so here's my little silk box there we go and inside, I wanted the champagne colored Sophia turban. It doesn't look so glamorous while you're doing it, but when you're finished, I'll show you. Okay, so you get your little cap, flip it upside down, pop it over your head. Now right now, it's kind of looking like I'm a shower cap wearing mad gypsy, but you grab your hair and stuff it all in there. And by the time you're finished, darlings, it's going to look like you're some kind of Hollywood actress who has to answer the door late at night because she's been told that her husband's died in a horrible accident and she's about to inherit a lot of money. Very glamorous story. Not that I know anything about husbands perishing in accidents. No. I feel like I have to talk like this the entire time that I have talked because it feels ever so glamorous. But then I wake up in the morning Silky, beautiful hair. It's basically like a portable silk pil pillowcase. Plus I can swan around pretending to be a Hollywood starlet and everybody loves that, darling. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Happy everything else that everybody else celebrates. And I hope that you eat so much that your skirt is bursting and you have to undo the top button in your jeans. Drink so much alcohol that you're feeling merry and bright, but not so much that you're hungover in the afternoon. Afternoon, Jesus, when am I starting drinking?